Alright, so I'm back with some more Cavi Q Chronicles, and for this one I'm going to be showcasing two Jabari Panther solos. I know that she's been, uh, you know, a, a pretty challenging boss as far as the Cavi Q bosses go. She has a bunch of defensive abilities and the notes here also <laughs> don't really make it any easier. There's a crit resist note on here, there's a mighty charge note, there's uh, empowered immunity, and those kind of add up to, to making her a, a, a little powerful, <laughs> I suppose. And uh, what I like to do in this fight with, with a lot of the champions is baiting her SP2. Her SP2 has no projectile associated with it. Her SP1 does have a projectile hit at the end, and if you try to bait it when she has the hunt active, you have to block it, you can't dex the, the end of the SP1, so that can get pretty tricky at times. And first off, I'm going to be featuring my Sunspot, my 565 unboosted Sunspot with no synergies benefiting him. And uh, I'm going to be building up four of my charges there. I just built up the charge right in the air and I got really lucky with her not retaliating. And I know four charges are going to be enough because I previously tried this with three charges and it was just, just not enough. And with four charges, she goes out to 1% health. And I just have to tap her one more time and she goes down. Pretty good, pretty good takedown with Sunspot. I mean, class advantage and all that. And also Sunspot benefiting from, from her purification of debuffs to get the charges back. But now I'm going to be using my rank 3 6 star long shot with the rogue synergy. Uh, Jabari Panther only has a crit resist buff active on her. So that's just, just going to be the only buff that I'm going to be nullifying. I actually nullified it right at the start of the fight. Which does mean that I'm going to be losing out on damage later on. Because I can't turn it uh, into incinerates. But uh, yeah, this fight goes, goes pretty well. Uh, there's a lot of repairing going on. So... Versus this fight, you, you do want to re-parry as much as possible. That's my first SP2. That does a decent chunk of damage. And Hunt is active now, so I have to be careful not to get cornered too much. And she lands her SP2 now. I want to go for my second SP2. I'm trying. I'm getting cornered pretty badly right now. So I'm trying to, to get her to bait her special. But she doesn't want to do that but thankfully she doesn't do too much damage in my block so uh, kind of the luxury of having a rank 3 6 star i feel and eventually she's gonna land that sp2 and i can just bait it right in the corner not really too concerned about the block damage and i'm gonna be landing my sp2 my sp2 didn't do any damage um, because of the purification i feel because she had she had the, the the purification up, so that was that was a bit of a bummer. But then my second SP2 did damage, and, and she's almost done. I'm gonna be one tapping her one last time, and she's gonna go down. Hopefully, <laughs> man, she really didn't want to bait specials in that fight. I was in the corner for so much of it. All right, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I really like playing with long shot if you can't tell i'll catch you later bye <laughs>